Update on that forecast from the WBRC First Alert Weather Center for the rest of this evening. There is a small threat for some severe storms. Most of what we will get is just some rain and some thunder and lightning, but areas east of Interstate 65, we could see just enough atmosphere recovery to get a few small storms out there capable of some gusty winds. This is not a setup where you would have tornadoes. It's more like damaging winds and even some hail out there, so there's a a pretty good risk of some stronger winds with some of those storms, maybe 40, 50 miles per hour, small hail, and a large risk of cloud to ground lightning. So we're starting to see some of that as the main line comes on through. Storms will last probably through 8, 9 o'clock. In terms of our threat meter, we have it in the stormy category for the rest of this evening. Most of those storms will remain below severe weather limits. It's possible we could see a few uh, severe storms, but generally below severe weather limits. Let's walk you forward through time. Some of the heaviest rain between 5.30 and 6 o'clock right along I-65 by 7, 8 o'clock. A lot of the active weather to the south and to the east. And then by 11 o'clock tonight, things start to clear out and cool off. Temperatures really starting to drop. 6 a.m. temperatures. This is tomorrow. Mid to upper 30s with clearing skies. Plenty of sunshine on Wednesday. Rain back in the forecast Thursday afternoon, but no severe weather. And right now, the weekend is looking picture perfect. We'll keep a close watch on any potential severe weather for the rest of this afternoon and evening. The overall severe weather threat is fairly low, but again, could see a few of those stronger storms pop up, especially areas east of Interstate 65. We'll keep you updated right here on WBRC 5-6.